Hello, everyone. I hope you all are fine. Well, we have started virtual lab, and this is uh, the next experiment that I'm going to teach today uh, using virtual lab. Just go to Google, type in uh, virtual lab, and the first uh, page that opens up is this section, which is uh, the window that you're seeing right now. And this is an initiative that is taken by Ministry of Education. And uh, just scroll below, and you have a lot of options over here. As I said in my previous video, when I was teaching you on integrated circuit using virtual lab, over here you can find electronics and communication, computer science, electrical, mechanical, chemical. You can do virtual experiments related to these areas of your concern. Okay. So uh, as we were doing uh, integrator circuit, the basic lab circuit, electronic lab, so we'll move on to electronics and communication section. Clicking on that will lead you to the basic uh, electronics uh, part. Just taking uh, some time. As I told you, this is completely free. We don't have to do any kind of subscription, but for multisim and uh, every circuit, you have to uh, pay a certain amount to use all the features and to access it. So this page has opened up. Scroll below. You can uh, see the basic lab, uh, electronics lab part. And once it opens, Go to the list of experiments, uh, see the experiments that is there in your syllabus, and you can do uh, the uh, experiment from here. The complete theory is given. I don't know, my network is a bit uh, slow and making errors. Uh, so uh, over here, click on list of experiments, scroll below. I will be uh, doing all of these experiments with you gradually, but for the time being, I have since I have taught OPAM, so I just want to uh, teach you this part uh, so that you get to know the theory and as well as see the nature of the curve experimentally. But since college is off, so you can see over here. Now, moving on to this part, you can see the procedure section as I have told you. This is very important. If you follow the steps that is given in this procedure section, as it is, you can simulate your own circuit and perform the experiment. There is nothing to worry about. Okay, The theory is being fetched over here when the question will be given from university. You have to write the experimental theory, the procedure, show the simulation, and provide a screenshot. Okay. These experiments that I'm doing in this part is uh, as per the syllabus of Calcutta University. And it uh, is uh, the fourth semester honors syllabus, physics honors syllabus, uh, CBCS system, okay? These experiments are also uh, there in other curriculum. Uh, so you just uh, see accordingly. So just, Moving uh, to the simulation part, uh, integration we have already done, we move to differentiator circuit. So as the circuit will open, the window will open, you have the circuit section in one side. Uh, this is the circuit part which you have to connect. And you have, my screen is frozen again. I think I'm audible. Okay. so. Uh, this is the circuit that you have to do uh, the connection. Uh, this uh, part is showing the instructions that is a uh, similar thing that you've seen in your procedure. And this is the oscilloscope section where the graphical nature, the, I think, I mean, the plots that you generate will be shown here. The CRO controls are over here. This will give you the position of channel one. You can change, you can vary the position of channel one, you can vary the position of channel two. Channel one is, we'll be taking the input. Channel two, uh, that is uh, uh, referred to as the output, okay? And 
let's uh, start the connection. So the first one I'll do is I'll connect these two. Okay. After that, I'll connect this one moving slowly. So this part is connected. After that, connect this point four with point five. You uh, revise the circuit uh, pin numbers and all of OPAM from the video. Uh, I'll provide the link in the description box and you can also check out my other videos for theoretical section of OPAM uh, using all these uh, circuits. Okay. Integrator, differentiator, Smith trigger, everything is there. So you can see. And after that, uh, let's make connection this. I have taken channel two as output. So all the connections are made. This one is left. Okay, so once the connection is made, your next step is to check your connection. So click on check connection. This dialog box pops up. It says write connections. So click on OK. Set the values of uh, the capacitor and the resistor uh, over here. So let me just take this part as I want to take the same value as I've taken for integrator. So I just take 0.1 microfarad. And let me take this as 1.5 kilo ohm. Okay. It's my own choice I'm taking. Okay. So after that, click on this on button to start your experiment. So I click on on button. As you can see, the background of the graph is generated. Now choose square wave or sine wave. Now, one more thing I want to uh, mention over here, I think you are aware of it. Uh, still, I want to mention that uh, if the input signal uh, over here is a ramp, then the output of the circuit with operational amplifier this as differentiator will be a simple DC as the rate of change of a ramp signal is constant, okay? Similarly, if the input signal is a sinusoid, then the output signal is also sinusoid, but with a phase difference of 90 degree. So let me first take a square wave. So I have taken a square wave. So input channel is showing over here, a square wave is generated. Now I want to see the output uh, nature. So click on oscilloscope. This is your output nature. It shows a spike is being formed, the spike curve is shown. This is your channel one, which is the input. If I click on channel two, it will give me the output. And if I click on dual, then input and output both are shown in the same frame. You can change the position of uh, channel one if you wish. I can move this part and I can also move this part as well. You want to uh, take the readings, you can't figure out, uh, you can change all this part. And this, this thing is for position shifting, okay? You can change the position of the x-axis, okay? So I think uh, all the mm, terminals are quite clear and how the nature is being plotted, that is also quite clear to you. So over here, now, if I wish to uh, see the nature of sine wave, then you can do one thing. Uh, you can off the circuit, you can change the values of C and R if you wish, or you can repeat the experiment with sine wave, keeping the values of C and R the same. That also you can do. Uh, just uh, check it once. So if I wish to give uh, sine wave, then this is my input in the sine uh, channel one. And if I click, I'll get a sine wave too. But as I said, it would be, uh, uh, there would be a phase difference of 90. So just click on dual to see uh, the nature of them. So you can see, you can figure out, you can take the measurements of this uh, 
graphical analysis and you can plot it. Okay, so this is a differentiated circuit using op-amp. I hope it is quite clear to you all. If you're stuck anywhere, then just drop in a question in the chat box. And uh, if you want to see this very circuit in a multi-sim or in circuit lab or every circuit, just drop in your uh, choice or your suggestions and I would provide you with the uh, tutorial, okay? So thank you all and keep learning with me. Okay, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon, okay? So that you get updated uh, links of my video once I upload them, okay? So stay safe and thank you once again.